What is going on guys? It's King Tuts Pro. Welcome back to another Photoshop tutorial where I'll be showing you guys how to use the move tool. And sorry I haven't been posting videos lately. That is because I've been busy with uh, networks and joining networks. And my account is now in good standing so that is great. Good news. And uh, I, I mean it's been a while since I haven't had my account in good standing. It's been about literally a year. Oh, like a year that's a long long time <laughs> but now I'm in good standing thank goodness um, and yeah so sadly I won't be doing a lot of free videos uh, for now on I kind of want to lay back on that for now I want to make more Photoshop videos or video guy or videos that you guys want to suggest uh, or you guys want to suggest me any videos and please leave them in the comments because I do read them and I do reply to your comments and leave a like if you guys appreciate my content and the support and um, again I'm sorry for for not posting videos lately but my schedule does go Monday Wednesday and Friday but uh, um, I was busy uh, on Monday so sorry for that but I am back it's time to make videos it's time to go back to business so oh by the way um, I joined curse the network union for gamers even though I'm not a gamer but that's okay I just want to go ahead and try something new because I heard a lot of good reviews about curse so if you guys have any experience with curse or if you're partnered with curse please tell me in the comments tell me if it's good or not and I just want to see what you guys think about it so yeah I'm back with the network it's great to be back and let's get started so using the move tool in Photoshop is um, fairly easy unless you haven't used Photoshop for a while or you're just starting off with Photoshop if you're a beginner in Photoshop then the move tool will be a little bit different or a little bit uh, hard um, that is mainly because you haven't used the tools a lot or you get too excited and start messing around and you don't know what you're doing so this is why I'm here to help you so um, if you want to go ahead and move an image um, it's very easy you can just first of all your layer is going to be locked if you open an image so say I open up an image I go here and then I, I don't know I select this one uh, and I click open okay so say I opened up the image and I want to move it so people just automatically move the image and they get a warning uh, uh, you know Photoshop brings up a window it says cannot move the tool or the move tool I cannot use the move tool because the layer is locked and if you go over to your layers palette if you guys don't have the layers palette simply go to window on the top if you're on a Mac it's gonna be on the very top on your menu bar if you're on a PC it's gonna be very similar it's still gonna be on the top the layout is gonna look a little bit different but everything should function the same so go to window and go to layers and it should be checked if it's checked it means it's on your your window here in Photoshop the shortcut is F7 if you guys were wondering and yeah so if you want to move the image all you have to do is double click the layer here so just double click anywhere and when you double click on the layer it's gonna bring up a new window and it's gonna say new layer it's gonna say you know put in a name I'm gonna name it uh, para Parachute, is that how you spell parachute? Yeah. And then color, I'm not going to give it a color mode, normal, opacity 100%. Again, you guys can change these if you want. So click OK. And then your layer should be unlocked. When a layer is locked, it means you can't move it at all. You can't touch it. It's like invisible. It's like a lock, right? You can't do anything until it's unlocked. So just make sure it's unlocked. And if it's locked, it's going to be, it's going to you can see that there's a lock icon on there. So just simply click on this to uh, unlock it. If it's never been unlocked, you're going to have to double click on the layer and then give it a name and then press OK. And cool. So once you have done that, you can actually now move the image freely to however you want. You could, you know, resize it. You could do whatever you want. You could freely move it. So say I wanted to do that, press enter, kaboom. There you go. Um, but another thing is like, let me go ahead and copy this image. So command A, command C. If you want to copy an image, go to edit and then copy. Go back to your image you want to paste it in. Go to edit and paste and you have your image. So here's our new layer, right? Um, a lot of people will get confused if, since they have like a lot of layers or they're working really fast in Photoshop, you know, getting everything done. They will accidentally select a wrong layer that they didn't want to select. So say I wanted to move my background. Well, I can't move it right now because um, I have my layer one selected or the image I paste it into it's selected in order to move the background 
all you have to do is select the parachute background or your background layer so just select that and then now I could move the background so I could just press command T I can make it bigger however you want it to be <laughs> uh, so yeah I mean it's really that easy um, so now you can you know freely move it if you're new to Photoshop and you still kinda don't get the idea then you can go over to the top left where it says auto select and if you check that this will allow you to move anything that's on your canvas without actually selecting the layer. So say I wanted to move the background without going here and selecting it, I can just click and drag. So that's a quick way of doing it. Um, you know, I can just do this, I can do this without even going here. Um, but I personally don't like that because when I'm working with a lot of layers or a lot of stuff is on the canvas, like on here, uh, like I have a lot of text, I have a lot of images, I have a lot of shapes. It's going to be very difficult selecting what I want to, like, or, or even if I accidentally select a layer or an object, it's going to be like really difficult and it's, it's going to be a pain in the neck. So <laughs> I would not really suggest doing that. Um, but only if you're kind of new to Photoshop and you want to get the handle, like you kind of want to get the principles of using the move tool, then that would be good but I would suggest you guys not because I want you guys to learn without it because you gotta learn how to switch between layers so that will just make life so much easier I promise you guys uh, I, mean, I, I mean I started using Photoshop four years now or four years ago and that's when I first started my YouTube channel because that's when I started making my thumbnails for my uh, YouTube videos so yeah, you get the point. I mean, I've been using Photoshop for a while now, so I know a lot of shortcuts and a lot, a lot, I know quite a bit of Photoshop. Um, so, yeah, uh, I hope you guys know how to use the Move tool now. And uh, yeah, so leave a suggestion, a video suggestion in the comments. I'll go ahead and quickly reply or look at it really quickly. And leave a like or dislike. Um, I would really suggest you guys leave a like for the love and support and the effort put into these videos. I want to do more quality over quantity, so just keep that in mind. And I'll catch you guys on my next video. Peace out and stay classy.